Hey everybody, Wayne here. Wanted to go ahead and throw up a video um, doing a playthrough of The Wars of Marcus Aurelius, published by Holland Spiel, um, designed by Robert Dulesky. I know it was a print and play war game um, on BGG, and I just wanted to get, once Holland Spiel actually published it, I wanted to get a copy right away. I've been having some fun with it, so I figured I'd do a little playthrough video, see how I can do, alright? Um, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll just kind of explain here. So I'm using, uh, this is a little sequence of play cheat sheet chart that I made up. It's on BGG. It's uploaded, so anyone can download that. It just helps me not have to use the robot quite so much. Um, take a look at the map here. I have it set up, ready to go. Um, I'm going to try to use my camera here, uh, hold it, and then I have a stand for it. But uh, we're just going to kind of weigh in and see how it goes. All right, everybody? So like I said, set up. This is the beginning setup uh, according to the rulebook. And let's dive right in. So... Let's see, what can we do here? All right, so first turn, you skip deployment step, um, and you go to the spring round, and barbarian phase normally be first, but on the first turn, you skip the barbarian phase. So go ahead and start with Roman phase, which means we have to start with my five cards. All right, that's what we can do here. All right. Oh, picked up five. That was easy. All right. Let's see what we're doing here. And I want to get this on here so you guys can see. There we go. You guys can see kind of what I'm looking at here. All right. Um, what can we do here? Okay. Oh, I like this one. Okay, so let's do uh, the Legion... 22 here, uh, Primogenia, we'll play that card, which allows us to grab that Legion from the, this is a, unactivated Legions and Leaders, these are guys that are going to come into the game through event cards, like what just happened, so we're going to add that one, according to the card, I can add it to any off -mat conflict or any um, Danubian army, so my Marcus Aurelius army here already has six legions, which is the max. So we're gonna add this bad boy over to uh, Pompeius army over here. So Pompeius, Pompeius, yeah, what, however you pronounce it, I don't know. There he is. Okay, all right, it's added to his army. Okay, cool. All right, what else we got here? Shuffle Roman deck. Well, you don't need to use that now. Uh, I'm gonna win the battle you're fighting and gain plus one IP. Wow, that's nice. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be using that one. Okay. Win around one. We'll save that. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's use this action card. Discard, discard to take an action. Discard him. Let's go ahead and attack. Um, let's conduct a battle with Marcus Aurelius. Let's attack the Marco Mani. So I like to bring him up here just kind of show you what's going on. All right. Let's see here. So that's six legions. Plus Marcus Aurelius, his leadership rating of three. Six plus three, that's nine. Against four plus two, uh, so six. So plus nine on my roll and plus six on their roll. Let's see, do I want to use my Rain Miracle? No, we're going to wait on that one. Okay, so what was it again? Yeah, plus nine and plus six. Let's go ahead and roll. Red is the Romans. Green is Barbarians. Oh, no. Okay, so I had nine... So 12, and they were at 6 plus 6, so tied. Um, also, they rolled a 6, which would flip their um, unit over to bold. Fortunately, they're, unfortunately for them, whatever, they're already at bold. So, all right, let's see. But one of the things you can do, um, you can discard a card, which let's discard this um, What about shuffling, because we don't, we don't need that right now. That's not, that's some, we'll do that. There's an, I think there's at least one more in the deck. Um, we don't need that right now. It's just clogging up our hand. So let's card that one, which gives us a plus one, which now results in a tie. And when you tie in a battle, you re-roll. Um, re-roll until there's a winner. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll them. All right, there we go. A lot better. So again, it was the nine plus our five, so that's 14. There's was six plus their roll of four, so 10. So we win. So we push them back. Plus four. All right, nice. Very nice. All right. Oh man, I want to do is 
we're going to do is we're going to discard Winter Quarters. We're going to do another battle. Only instead of rolling on this one, we're going to do uh, Marcus Aurelius again against the Markle Manai. However, we're going to play Rain Miracle. Which, automatically win the battle you're fighting. Do not roll. Gain plus one IP. Dan in front only. Um, it's used for the event. Discard to the history pile. So, very cool. So we'll discard that. History pile is going to tuck back here. So I'm actually winning, and um, I get my plus one IP, so my Imperium goes up from a four to a five. Not bad, not bad. All right. Okay. Well, I just played all cards that I had in that first round, so you know what? That's all right. Let's go ahead. Um, we're going to move from the spring, spring round to the summer round. And unfortunately for me, um, you only skip the... See, that's we're going to the spring. We're going to the summer. Yes, we skipped the spring for barbarians, but unfortunately, the summer um, starts up. So, start with these barbarian cards. See what they got. First one, Marco Mani activates. Advance Marco Mani forward one space, or flip from demoralized to bold. Add this card to the surge. Oh boy! All right, so we're gonna move him. So he goes from the plus six to the plus four, and this one is surge now. Just camera a little bit, everybody. I'm so sorry about the camera. We're just going to have to wing it, all right? Okay, card number two. Easy, guys. That's how I pronounce it. I'm sure it's pronounced differently. That's how to pronounce it. So, advance easy guys forward one space or flip from demoralized to bold. Well, so they're advancing down. So, we got armies on the march here. Great. Good for Rome. And let's add this card to the surge. That's two surge now. Quad I. Advance quad I forward one space or flip. Oh, Okay. Well, so, here's the deal. They're on quad I under attack, or excuse me, quad I cannot attack. They, they start off with that counter on them. Basically, that just means I can't attack them in their home base to try to get them to surrender right away. They still get to activate. Um, so, once they're activated, which happens here, you remove the quad I cannot attack counter, and then they would be advanced um, as well. Plus, add this card to surge, which that's three surges. Over here, three surge cards. So... What a Surge does is every other Barbarian army activates as well. So, easy guys, move down plus two. So they're close to my territory. Um, and then Marco Manis go from the plus four to the plus one. So they're right across the Danube. So, already encroaching on me. Already. Okay. And that was the third card, the Barbarian card. So that ends um, the Barbarian phase of the Summer Round. So, that's my phase now. So let's see here. So I get to draw... In uh, the summer, I get to draw three cards. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Single combat's a nice one. Um, that'll get me a leader out of the unactivated if I can um, if I can win. Vexillations, tra basically transfer any number of armies and um, Roman legions and leaders. And then... Philosophical Inquiry. Choose one card from the Roman discard pile. Play that card instead. Oh. There's a... I thought there was a good one in there. Alright. Oh. Uh, well, okay. You know what? Let's... I don't want to fool around here forever. I want to kind of get the game going here for you guys so you can see how it goes. So... Let's go ahead and, you know what? I want to fight again here. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to discard the vaccinations here um, to battle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to battle the easy guys with Pompeianus and his legions. But I'm then going to play Battle Before the Dice Roll. So this is when you play it. So you play it during battle before the dice roll. Single combat. Resolve this battle by rolling 1d6 for each side. Highest number wins. Roman victory. They're demoralized and retreated. And I gain Marcus Valerius Maximinius. Uh, I think that's Russell Crowe. Um, the Gladiator. I think. I don't I don't know for sure. But uh, so here we go. Marcus number two. If I win. If I lose, well, let's not, let's not worry about that. So... Simple 1d6. We're just going to roll them. As usual, red is the Romans, the good guys. Green is barbarians, the bad guys. Let's see what we get here. And we win. All right. Awesome. So, 
What do we do here? So they are demoralize and retreat, and this was against the easy guys. So de retreat, demoralized, and I go ahead and I get Maximinius over here, which he's only, let's see, he's a two. So um, we're going to go ahead and let's see, put these guys back. And Maximinius, he cannot, um, you can't put a leader without legions in an area. So I think he, I would assume he goes to the recovery box. But that's okay because I get him next turn. So, all right, discard that bad boy. All right, I'm done with really the one card here. I'm just going to hang on to this card. I'll sit here for now. Um, you just have to discard down to five at the end of a phase anyway. So I can. it doesn't actually even have to be in the meditations deck or meditation spot, excuse me. Um, you just hang on to them. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's uh, advance the round marker. Let's go to winter. Barbarians, here we go. They get their three. Let's see what we get here. We shuffle the Barbarian deck, including all cards from discard pile, but not search pile. Then discard this card. Okay. Well, not that many of them, but that's okay. And that would be the first one here. So. Discard off camera. Very exciting stuff. So, um, so far, like, I have to admit, I really like this game. Um, a little biased here, I guess, but I really enjoy it. Um, I've played more than one game. Um, I had a little bit of experience when I was a... Print and play, um, but didn't get super into it just because I'm not very good at making my own print and place. But as soon as this one from Hollow Spill came out, I had to have it, and uh, so far I have a lot of fun. So, all right, we're shuffled enough. All right, oh, let's see here. So, number two, not, <laughs> quiet on the Danube. Do not draw any more Bavarian cards this round. Cool, could have had that as the first one, would have been nice, but you know what? We'll take it. So, that was number two, but it's quiet. And then discard these guys. All right, so it's now, what is it? It's the winter, huh? All right, so I get one card. Uh, in the winter, the Romans only get one card. Let's see. Sarmatia, Roman turn. Easy guys, front only. Place two level two forts on eligible spaces. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're just going to play that right now then. We're going to play that right now. So go ahead. Fort markers here. And you get to do level one, plus one attack, plus zero pacify. And we'll cover that when we get to that part. Um, and then a level two is plus two attack plus one pacify you get to do two level twos, which is awesome And you can put them um, Either in a spot with a barbarian army or even up in the barbarians home spaces So that doesn't matter. You can place them anywhere you want um, as long as they're Eligible meaning they have to basically be in line here because there's a you trace supply later on in the housekeeping phase here well, Actually, we're just about to do then so we finished the winter round there Let's go to housekeeping First step of housekeeping is attrition, which means you roll 1d6 for every fort on the map. Um, and then if you roll a six, the fort is reduced by one. So let's go ahead. First fort, we'll start at the top, work our way down. So a one, that's fine. It's a six and it's and a three, so good. So both forts survive. Fort's out of supply. What it is if you have a fort, um, so on the north or east of the Danube, um, it doesn't have another fort at the space below it. Then it would be reduced. Uh, would it be reduced or eliminated? Let's see. It's eliminated, actually. So if it's a level 2, it would still be eliminated. Okay. And then if it's a level 2, it has to have a level 2 below it. So basically, you'd have to trace it level 2, level 2, you know, level 1. If it had a level 2 here and a level 1 here, that level 2 would be reduced to a level 1. So, All right. So we're good there, though. Remove temporary truce. None of those. Flip Marcus Aurelius from demoralized to bold. He was bold already. He's always bold for me. Um, no off-map conflicts. Marco Mana and Quad are not south of the Danube. That's good. And then, so now, advance the year marker by one. Place a round marker on spring. So it's year 171. Excuse me, up here. Year 171. And then the round marker goes back over to spring. Okay. So now we start, since it's the second turn, we start with the redeployment step. What that is is it lets me move any of the leaders and legions I want Um to any Danube space here or um, off off map conflict. Uh, I have no off map conflicts right now, so I have to worry about that. Um, what I do want to do is I want to fight these Marco Mani. I like to pacify them first uh, if I can. Although I do have the two on the easy guys, don't I? You know, I should go for them, so I should do end there, demoralized. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, one, I get my, forget, you also get two. Um, 
your recovery, so you get your legions and your any leaders, anybody like that from the recovery box here. Available next turn. Well, this is the next turn. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, let's do Marcus Aurelius is our best leader, or at least highest rating here. Let's gonna move him over to the easy guys. And I want him to pair him with three, four, five, six legions. I'll need the max amount of legions I can with him. Um, and then who else is a threat here? I definitely see the Marco Man. I are probably the other big threat. So let's go ahead and do Maximinius um, along with, let's see, three, four, five, six legions as well. And Pompeianus can chill here in the middle with Quad Eye with one legion. All right, he's just kind of holding action style down here. So, leader, I'm sorry, I hope that was on camera. I apologize if it wasn't. Um, you know, the leader box here, the legions up to six total. I got it all figured out. And that's what you do during the redeployment step. All right, and then at turn 175, you'd add the late war cards over here, which I have them off to the side, but we're only at year 171, so we're not worried about that. All right, barbarian phase of spring round. Let's do it. All right, quad eye. Advance quad eye forward one space or flip from demoralized to bold. Add this to the surge. Awesome, another surge. Here we go. So quad eye, they were at plus seven. They go to plus four. All right, Marco Mani, advance them one, or flip from Demoralized to Bold. Um, add this to the search. Oh, boy. So now they're going south of the Danube. That's not good. This is, this, we got to get rid of, we got to work on that. But fortunately, I do have uh, Maximinius, you know, Russell Crowe over here um, with six legions. So when it gets to my turn, we're going to do some battles here, okay? All right, one more Barbarian card to resolve. Plague, oh no. Lose one IP, which is uh, Imperium points. Um, so we'll start off with that. Which, right over here is the Imperium track. Um, move that down one. Starts, started four, I had it up for one. Um, when it gets, if it gets down to one, zero, you're usurped, you're assassinated. So we have to watch that one at all times. If you get up to seven, you get plus, you get to draw an extra card during round one, the spring round. Um, I've I don't think I've ever had it at seven before. Maybe once before. Anyway, it's hard. All right, so Plague. There was something else going on with the Plague, though. So I lost my one IP. Um, and then let's see here. What else is it? I'm sorry if it's not focusing. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, all right. Roll a 1d6. For roll a 1, place two legions from any army into recovery box. That's right. And any other roll, place one legion. So one is bad. Higher than one is still bad, just not as bad. All right, so one legion. So I only lose one legion. Um, let's see here. We're going to take one off the Maximinius here. You know what? No, I lied. I'm not going to do that. Let's take one. Let's take one off the Quad Eye. Um, I'll be honest here. I might be cheating. I'm not sure. The rules say you cannot put a... When you do the redeployment step, you can't put a leader um, with no legions. But it doesn't mention, you know taking away legions because of plague. I, I would assume that's okay um, because it um, doesn't prohibit it in the rules. So we're going to go with that for now, okay? So put them over in the recovery box. So they're sick with plague. Awesome. Plague spreading through the empire here, I guess. All right. So that was card number three. So the barbarian uh, phase is over. I would discard that one and I leave the two surges here, uh, building up towards third surge card here. All right, so my phase, Roman phase here. Get my, it's spring, so I get my five cards. Four, five, let's see here. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Um, that's all right. Oh, disregard, discard to disregard the, the effects of plague or plague worsens. Could have used that. Um, okay. Oh, I got a couple interesting ones here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Um, let's try to work on these Marco Man Eyes, though. So what we're going to do is I'm going to discard concessions here to battle. Um, let's battle. I want to battle with Russell Crowe and the six legions he has with him um, against, like I said, Marco Man Eye here. So it's six plus two, so plus eight. They have no terrain value bonus because they're in basically in my territory now. So it's just four. So plus eight and plus four. All right, yeah, I crushed them. So that was very hard. Okay, so we're gonna push them back above the Danube. 
All right, let's go ahead and put our guys back down here. I like to just move them up closer. Just, I don't know, it's a good feel instead of leaving them down here. All right, what else can we do here? And I just realized, by the way, and if you had noticed, I had the philosophical inquiry. I did, I saved that in the meditation spot. So if you guys are kind of wondering, like, hey, where did that card come from? That was saved, and you can save one per turn um, in between, after the winter phase in meditations, unless you have the Eulicinian Mysteries, in which case you can save two, but I don't have that, so I could just save the one. Okay, so let's see here. I feel like that could be a good one to use here. Choose one card from the Roman discard pile and play that card instead. Oh, that's a, yeah. Should I use that one? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to play. So, discard, philosophical inquiry. Discard this one to history. And then, and then I get to play Sarmadia, Sarmadia again, however you pronounce it, on the easy guy's front, and I'm just butchering these words. Place two level two forts on eligible spaces. All right, watch this. Look at this now. Two more level two sport forts, huh? Boom. I, I gotta start pushing them back though. Otherwise, it's the point of having these forts here if I'm not even pushing them back. So, all right, so let's go ahead and let's discard Galen here for a battle. And let's battle with Marcus Aurelius and his six legions to get them going up here against the easy guy. So let's see. So six plus a three. Nine plus two for the fort there, for the level two fort. So let plus eleven. And his is two plus three. Oops. Yeah, so look at it like look at it like that. There we go. So two plus three. So his is plus five. Mine's plus eleven. Come on. Oh no. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so here's what I have. I still won. So I won. Here's the deal. I won that battle. But they rolled a one and I rolled a one. And there's negative effects for rolling ones and positive effects for rolling six. So rolling ones, um, they are, they would be demoralized, but they already were. Now they did lose the battle, so they you know, go up here. Um, unfortunately, when I roll a one, if I have Marcus Aurelius leading the army, I decrease my IP, my Imperium points, by one. So it was at four. Now it's down to three. Yeah, not doing so well there. It's all right. We're going to work on that. Okay. Oops. Oh, I can't believe that. Okay. So, what do I have over here still? Okay. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to discard Ordered Retreat. Do another battle. Um, let's go ahead and keep working on that. So, Marcus Aurelius. Attacking. Easy guys up here. So, I'm going to get, I'm still at my six. Plus three. Plus the two, so that's plus eleven total. And now the territory is getting harder for for me, so it's four plus their two, so six. So plus eleven for me, plus six for them. All right, I win easily. So that pushes them back up here, the plus six territory. Just keep fighting. Would that be? They'd be at eight. I'd still be at plus eleven. Should I? Hmm. Yep. Well. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to discard tactical advantage because I got a plan here. Yeah, would that work, though? Okay, you know what? I'm change plans. We're going to hang on to those guys. All right, let's bring our Mark Sarlison's legions back down here. Okay. Let's chill for a minute here. Let's uh, we'll hang on to these cards here. Let's move on to the next uh, round here. So, summer round. Let's begin with the barbarian phase here. Oh, Marcus. Alexander of Vobonatius. Oh, Marcus. Lose one IP. Okay, that's not good. Card number one. So, my IP now. Whoop. Down to two. Okay, yeah, I'm going to work on I have to work on that soon. Let's, let's hope I don't uh, forget about that one. All right. Bring card number two. Quiet on the Danube. Again, could use that in the first card, but you know what? I'll take it. Better than the third card. Not draw any more this round. All right. So, the rest of summer will be quiet. Okay, me. I get three cards in the summer round. So, let's see what we can do. We already had the two, and that's okay. You can have five in between. 
uh, at the end of spring and into summer. All right, so what do I draw here? A regular action card. We'll reorder the barbarian one. That's a good one. And then uh, that's all right, but you know what? I have to pay one IP, and I I can't afford that. So what we got to do here is okay. We're gonna discard this one. Um, Publius Helvius Pertanix, which he's tied to the leader. He's tied to uh, the leader over here. But we already have three leaders now, and they're and he's not better than any of them. So we're just probably gonna let him chill the rest of the game here. We'll see. All right. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and discard him um, and use that as an action for a battle. Um, let's get uh, Marcus Aurelius and his legions, his six legions up here. We're gonna fight. Easy guys, all right. So again, six legions. Marcus Rally says three. That's nine, and then still at the another level two forward here. So plus two, so eleven. So I have plus eleven, and there's his two plus six. So plus eleven, and then they have plus eight. I win. All right. A little closer. That's what happens when you're up that way. So push them back one. And now, here's where cards come into play and really add, you know, add that extra dimension besides just rolling the dice and seeing what happens. So, well, I've been doing it, but as you can see, a little strategy. So, um, oh, that's for the winter round. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? We're going we're gonna to hope they don't get moved, all right? Oh, I know what I'll do. Um, okay, I'm going to discard this action card to build two level one forts. What you can do, you can do, you can discard a card as an action um, and build, uh, can upgrade a level one to a level two, or you can build two level ones. So, we're gonna build two level ones. I wanna get one up here with him, try to slow him down in case he tries to move. And then I'm actually gonna put one over by the Marco Manai, because I kind of forgot about them over there, and that's not good. So, I would try to lock them down with that fort. All right, what do we got here? Okay, let's now let's play Barbarian Informant. Um, look at the top five cards of the Barbarian deck. Reorder them if you like. Put them back. So it should be pretty good here. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I see what I want. I see what I want right there. We're going to do is Quiet on the Danube will be the first one. Um, then we'll do... Um, well, that, because that'll take care of the winter round for us, and we'll get over to spring. Um, I don't want to have that. At that point, I feel like. Easy, guys. We'll do Marco Mani. We'll go to the two Marco Mani. That'll be, I think it'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll live. We'll see. All right, so. Perfect. This will be good now. We got it set up nice. Right here. So. Okay. So I can all set up. Played that. Um, you know what? I'm going to end. I'm going to end my, uh, my summer phase here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and round marker over to winter, which now we do the three barbarian cards, but I set it up. So, oh, what do you know? First one, quiet on the Danube. Do not draw any more. Oh, too bad for them. Okay, so their barbarian phase ends. Now my phase, here we go. So it's winter, so I only have to draw one card. Um, so my two, so I get to draw the one. Okay, and now here's where it gets fun. So. Here's what we do. Here's what we again. We take big advantage of these cards. Um, you gotta, you know, you strategize. You gotta plan ahead a little bit here. And I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh, we'll see if what happens here. This game's hard. Okay. Battle on the ice. Roman turn during winter round. Discard this card and fight and win against the easy guys and flip them to demoralize. Which, oh, cannot be used in the easy guys' home space. Oh, during their home space. That's what I was gonna use. For. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's funny. Uh, well, you know, you got to plan and strategize, you know, Wayne, and use the right cards, though. Okay, well, that strategy just backfired. Oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. Okay, yeah, so that's what I was going to do. Clearly, I was going to use it on them and try to get them surrendered here, but they're uh, they're on their home space over here. <sighs> oh, shoot. Okay, so let me see if I can speak back, by the way, too. I don't need him up there. I need to fight. All right, so I got to hang on to that one, I guess. Um 
You know what though? We can still let's still try to attack them though. So let's discard, divide, and conquer for a battle. Um, and then we're probably gonna we're gonna play this tactical advantage. So hang on here. So do a battle. So Mark Sorelli can go up here. He's gonna try to knock these easy guys out of the game here. Um, get them to surrender. So we're gonna go ahead in. What we'll do is we have six, three. And there's a plus one because you have a fort there. So 10, plus 10, and they have a plus 10. So it's an even roll. Even roll. Um, I do have this tactical advantage, which we'll see if I have to use it. So flip the Roman or Barbarian die after rolling to its opposite side. So, I mean, I, I think I'm going to win. So it's they're both plus 10. So even roll, and I get to flip one to its other side. I, I'm pretty sure I basically am going to win automatically. Let's see here. I didn't even need to. I didn't even need to. So I'm not going to You do it after the dice roll. So I don't even need to use it. So I'm going to hang on to that. Um, hang on to that card because I won. So what happens if you win? Yay, what do you know? I beat them. Beat them in their home spot, right? You beat them up. So they surrender to me. So what you do, you take their counter, place it over here in the surrendered tribes. Um, I believe all the forts stay the same. Let me go ahead and put Mark Sorelli's back down here. Forts all stay there. Um, and then what you do is... Now that he surrendered, obviously he wouldn't activate, except every time he would activate Easy Guys or a Surge, uh, you do an Oathbreaker check. And we'll get into that when it actually comes time for that to happen, because it, it, they will happen quite frequently. Okay, so he surrendered. And this was winter turn, wasn't it? So I can only, you know what, I'm going to, I didn't have to use it, so I'm going to keep it, keep it in my meditation spot. Um, because I'm gonna get rid of Battle on the Ice, which it was for the. It's only for the easy guys anyway, so I might as well discard him. Because end of winter round, you have to discard down to um, well, no cards in your hand. But like I've said before, you can have meditation spot either one or two, depending if you have that. All right, so discard. All right, that's the end of that uh, winter phase here. Let's go ahead and move the round marker over to housekeeping, attrition. So let's go ahead and do the attrition rolls. Uh, remember one d six. A six causes a fort to be reduced. So, first fort on the left there. Okay, fine. And we'll start from the top, work our way down. Top one, a one, that's fine. I'm, sure guys roll. I'm cheating here. Four, that's fine. Oh, five, that's fine. And then the last one down here. Three, that's fine. It's all good. Okay, fort's out of supply. Nope, they're all good. Let's see here. Flip Marcus Aurelius. He's already on his bold side. No truces. Um, temporary truces, that was. Off my conflicts, none of them. Marco Mani and Quadi, they're uh, both above the Danube, so they're fine there. And then, it, okay, advance your marker by one. And then round marker back to spring. All right, let's see what we can do here. So. Start off. Um, oh, actually, and of course, obviously, the redeployment step. Um, I want to redeploy here because I don't need Mark Aurelius in here with the easy guys front when they're taken out of the game right now. So what I'm going to do is swap a little bit here. I want to put, let's see, I've got to work on these Marco Mani, I think. So let's get Marco, Mark Aurelius over there with the Mani, Marco Mani. We'll put uh, Maximinius with the Quad Eye. Pompanus, you get, you know, demoted over here to the easy guys the truce but that's important that's important and which i'll cover here in a minute so i'm put six legions with i got my recovery legions well so six with marcus aurelius um i want Papinus. i'm gonna leave four with him you're gonna i'll explain it's part of the oath breaker thing and then we'll put three with um russell crow here so all right there we go so let's make sure to do the redeployment step um just, you know, you, you want to make sure you're doing it, obviously, every turn. Um, it's just sometimes you literally will look and you'll say, oh, I, don't move them. Oh, don't move them. When, but then sometimes you really need to. So, all right, go ahead and let's start the uh, spring round, barbarian phase. So they go first, their first card. Okay, here we go. So easy guys. Um, then add this to the surge as well. So starting off is the easy guys. Now, they've, they're surrendered to me, right? Like, well, they're, they're out of the fight. They're surrendered. Uh, not so fast. What you do is you do an Oathbreaker check. An Oathbreaker check is pretty simple. Um, you roll 1d6 for them, and you compare it to what's called a pacification value, um, which 
actually looking at it right now, I really didn't even have that many legions over there. Um, but that's, you know what, that's, hey, that's how it works, right? That's how you're playing, and you just, you know what, that's, you take your lumps. So, anyway, so pacification value is determined um, with three things. It basically would be that the battle value, or combat, excuse me, um, your combat value with your leader, and then any legions, so in which case, one, and there's four legions, so that would be five. And what you need to do is you need to roll higher than that pacification value. 